breakdown of how the first day was for some of the area's school districts. You see 7 News reporter Kimberly Brown, who talked to the mother of eight about how she's handling the first day back. Oh my goodness, how yeah. about that? But first, Nicole Ford is in Pickens County talking safety on the athletic fields. She heard exclusively from emergency crews and athletic trainers about new precautions this year. The CDC reports that more than two and a half million kids are admitted to emergency rooms every year for sports related injuries. For the next three days, Pickens County paramedics are receiving more hands on training to better prepare for those situations. It starts with a bag of tools. I have a manual screwdriver, um, scissors. Um, I also have pruning shears. All things an athletic trainer carries to help get equipment off a sports player in the event of an emergency. So athletic trainers are pretty much on every sideline of high school football games across the state. Um, so we are there as the first responders and if we need to bring on EMS to assist us then we will do that. So these trainers and paramedics need to know how to work together in an emergency. We need to know what each of our strengths and weaknesses are so that we can do that. Over the next few days, Bon Secours St. Francis sports medicine professionals will be giving hands-on demonstrations on when and how best to remove these athletes' equipment. If it needs to be removed, then we need to remove it um, in the field. Uh, Pre-hospital on, on the actual field with the trainers. Teaching these first responders important tips for when it happens. Minimum probably once a season between JV and varsity football. More training they hope they don't have to use, but important nonetheless thanks to a partnership happening only in Pickens County. Knowing that we are just community servants, that's the big thing, and uh, our schools are part of our community, so we have to be prepared to serve. Now, with three shifts of paramedics in the county, there'll be two more sessions over the next two days to make sure all emergency responders are equipped with this training. In Pickens County, Nicole Ford, 7 News. Now, for any type of injury that may occur, Bon Secours has a hotline, 675 Hurt, where you can call and get immediate appointments with specialists like physical therapists or orthopedic doctors. Well, students, teachers, and parents.